welcome back to Pure Lutty. So today's video is how much did my makeup routine cost me for today? So if you want to see how much it costs and what I used for this look for today, then make sure you keep watching. And if you like today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join the family, <laughs> hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so today's makeup, I actually did this for um, an endo filming. I actually went out to Kings Park and I filmed for part of a um, national endometriosis resource. So um, this look is a yellow look because of that, but I thought why not film with this as well? I do also have really long nails on. I need to soak them and get them off now. Um, I don't like to wear these longer than just the event because they're giant and I can't do anything. Can't flush the toilet, can't pull my pants up, nothing. <laughs> so yeah, I will be soaking these off after I have finished filming. Um, but I basically just got home um, and I thought I would film a video with you guys. I have seen this going around and this is how much did my makeup routine cost me. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go based on how I would apply it to myself um, and I've got my phone here to look everything up so I can tell you the prices and then we're going to add up the total at the end. Okay, so the first step in my routine is my eyebrows. Now, you all know I just use a stamp for my brows these days because I can get it done in like 30 seconds um, versus sitting there for 30 minutes and still not having brows that even look like distant cousins. So I use this Lady Me brow stamp. Sorry, the lighting keeps making it too dark um so i use the shade soft brown so this full price is 38 dollars. i do normally stock up when it is on sale though then from there i would tidy up my brows and i just actually use my concealer sorry i do use this on my spots that i'm concealing as well um, but i just clean up with my concealer rather than having too many products so today i use the natasha denona high glam concealer mine is in rn1 which is fair rosy and this is a 49 dollars from there i prime my eyelids and of course i use my trusty favorite ride or die primer this is the light beige eye primer from coa center of attention cosmetics um this is 25 australian dollars i'm almost out of this now i have been using this for over a year so this is really really good value for money so once i have primed my eyelids i would go in and do my eyeshadow um today obviously i was filming for an event so I didn't want a look that was going to be too complicated and I wanted something that I knew um, so that I didn't stress myself out anymore by trying to work with like shadows that didn't work. So of course I used my center of attention rated M palette. Now this has been discontinued now um, and she doesn't know if she ever will bring this one back. However, she still sells every single shade just as a single shade now rather than just in a big palette. She also sells the magnetic palette for you to pop it in um so i did use three shades in here i use uh deep wild and fancy for today's look um but i'm gonna include the whole cost for the palette because yeah i used it as a whole palette so the palette was 90 australian dollars so obviously once i have done my eyeshadow i'll go in and do my lashes so first up is i use some mascara um, so this one is the Benefit Roller Lash. Um, I actually got this from my mother-in-law. She didn't like it. She tried it once, didn't like it. So I'm giving it a shot. So this is a full size. So it is 49 Australian dollars. Whilst my mascara dries, I normally then go in with some primer for my face because I like to let that settle into my skin whilst I do my falsies. So I use the Ole Henriksen uh, Banana Bright Face Primer. This is my trusty ride or die one as well. Um, and this is 52 Australian dollars. Then I would go in with my falsies whilst that is drying because my lashes should be dry from mascara by then. Um, so today I used my Glam Geo lashes in the style Beautiful. Okay, I can't actually find the price of these lashes, but I'm going to say they're probably between 15 to 20 Australian dollars. So I'm going to count it as, let's say, 17.50 in between. 
To apply my lashes is my Duo Lash Glue. I like the brush on adhesive one um, because I like to put the glue on my lash line rather than my actual lashes. And this was $10.58. Next up is my foundation. So I use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Mattifying. This is old packaging. It does have new packaging. Um, I'm not yet to try the new one. Um, I think the ingredients have changed. I do have a packet, so um, I'm still yet to try it, but this was my favorite. Um, but yeah, I think they've changed the formula now, so I'm still yet to try that. But this is 33 Australian dollars. Now I do normally always wait and I always pick this up when it's half price. From there, I would do the concealer under my eyes, but I've already included that cost, so we're not going to add that again. Then I would go in and I would set my face. So today I used my Center of Attention Cosmetics All Day Slay. This is like my ride or die setting powder. Um, I just had to order this because I'd run out. Um, so this is a brand new bottle that's just opened today. Now, I actually brought this as a bundle. So this was the All Day Slay Powder along with the Center of Attention trio of these little powder puffs. So this was 48 Australian dollars. From there, I go in with my bronzer. And today I used my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Um, this is in 310. Uh, this has lasted me for so long. Um, and it is one of my favorite bronzers. And this was 74 Australian dollars. Next up, I go in with my blush, and today I just used this Essence The Blush. This is in the shade Breathtaking, number 30, and this retails for $4.50. Okay, from that, I normally have my bake on, and I do my lower lash line. So today, I use the Center of Attention Cosmetics Power Gel Liner in the shade Yellow for my waterline, and this retails for $20 Australian dollars. From there, I went into my inner corners and I did this High Vis Center of Attention Cosmetics Neon Pigment. This is in the shade Yellow and this retails for 20 Australian dollars as well. So next up, I do some setting spray or finishing spray. So this is the Center of Attention Cosmetics Finish Her Setting Spray. I've almost finished this bottle. Um, this is my second bottle that I've gone through and this retails for 29 Australian dollars. So next up, whilst my face is still a little bit damp from the finishing spray, I then go in with my highlighter. So today I use the Center of Attention Cosmetics Attention Haul Highlighter Palette. Um, I use the shade Look At Me, this one in the middle, the top there, and this retails for 50 Australian dollars. I just realized I forgot to include at the very start. Um, when I sit down, I actually prep my lips and today I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Gummy Bear. This retails for 33 Australian dollars. Um, I do normally use like a plushes puck, but I've run out and I didn't grab a new one when I sat down. So I just used this because it was in front of me. Then next up, I go in and I do my lips. So today I use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pillow Talk 2 Medium Lip Liner. This retails for 38 Australian dollars. And the lucky last product that I used for today's look is then my lip gloss. So I use the Center of Attention Cosmetics Glass Act. Uh, this is in the shade Player. And this retails for 15 Australian dollars. So all up for today's look, I have been adding it up. And it was $695.58 to do this makeup today. Now, it normally wouldn't always be like that high. Obviously, I pulled out some of my more bougie products, um, products that are like my ride or dies, ones that I know that won't go wrong because I needed my face to um, be able to look good for a few hours. So I definitely used like my primer and stuff. I probably would have used like a cheaper one um, if it was just doing like a makeup look for home. Um, but yeah, $695.58 is a lot. Um, I'm very shocked. I didn't expect it to be that high. Uh, but I can see where it all comes in. There was a lot of products there. So that is how much today's makeup look cost. So if you have any other video ideas for me, please let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos and as always thanks for watching guys bye